I've cooked Thanksgiving dinner for 25 years. For two years, I was the one-man Thanksgiving helpline for the New York Times. I can tell you exactly how to make a great Thanksgiving, but you're gonna have to follow these rules. You will make a turkey. Turkey is why you are here. This isn't a holiday for a beef tenderloin or a piece of swordfish or a goose. It's for a turkey. No appetizers, no salads. There will be a plate full of turkey, mashed potatoes, dressing, gravy, cranberry sauce, Brussels sprouts, green beans. There's plenty of food. The smells alone will be appetizing enough. There is no place in Thanksgiving for an appetizer or a salad. You can have salad tomorrow. Television is okay. Football is part of this holiday too. <laughs> If you have guests who want to watch the Cowboys game, go ahead and let them. Give them a drink. Make pie. Thanksgiving, that most American of holidays, calls for pie, for apple pie, for pecan pie, for pumpkin pie. Don't serve chocolate. Save chocolate for nights of depression, for nights of anxiety. But for Thanksgiving, the article is pie. Clean up before bed. You have plenty of people to help you. Do not be afraid to delegate. You do not want to clean up in the morning filled with a hangover, a food hangover, the vague regret that you did not clean up the night before. Give thanks. That is, after all, the point of the whole holiday. On Thanksgiving, we gather together as a nation to give thanks to one another. There's nothing wrong with that. It's our secular holiday. It's our secular feast. Thanksgiving. Give Thanks.